So tell me how you started Absher, how you got the idea for it. Sure. So uh, we were computer scientists at Stanford, and we were very interested uh, in how media and online publishing were changing. Uh, news websites were so flat, so one-dimensional, and you visit a, a news article, and the only thing you can do is read it, click on a link, and go to the next page. And you know, we're sitting here with the richest communication medium we've ever had, and we just thought there's there's got to be more to this. And we had these really inspiring conversations at the uh, the graduate student uh, dorm hall, where we um, uh, basically got beers and french fries and just talked through these different ideas and uh, uh, came up with what we thought was a new version of how to present information. So we built uh, a JavaScript uh, ability to display rich multimedia windows in context. So without leaving the page, you click on a link and you can open up a, a video or a map or a slideshow or a document. It just all appears in these miniature uh, browser windows. So tell me some of the individuals who helped you, because you worked with some really world-class journalists to develop Absher. Yeah, uh, Pam Maples from the Dallas Morning News and uh, Martin Turner from the BBC. Um, and those were the two who really uh, helped us the most and, and really introduced us to our first publishing contacts in the industry. How do you think Absher solved some of the problems that uh, media companies are really facing today? I mean, it, you know, without doing a lot of hand-wringing, it's a difficult environment with people getting laid off and publications closing all over the place. Right. I think one of the main reasons that media publishers are having so much trouble is the amount of traffic that they're losing out to search. So think about it. You're, you're on a page on the New York Times and you're reading about some concept and you want to know more about it. Well, if the New York Times doesn't answer your question, you're going to go to search for it. If we can help the publishers by letting them integrate all those answers into their site so that you don't have to leave, suddenly they're retaining their readership. So what we're trying to do is build a set of tools that you know, expand the um, dimensions in which they can give you answers and tell the story and be the guide while not sending the readers away from their site. Imagine if we could take, you know, the New York Times entire video library and leverage it on every single article. And you can't do that if you have a small, limited amount of space. So what we've done is given them a way to disclose, you know, two, three, four videos per page view which increases the amount of uh, impressions and, and advertising that they can actually monetize each one of those impressions. So that really is just what it comes down to, is how can you fit um, more advertising into these, these content pages.